Anthony Worrell Thompson. He's not my brother, but he is a fine chef. Is that relevant to this video? You'll find out later. <laughs> Time to get ready for work. Wasting my battery. Did you know that Anthony Worrell Thompson once owned this very streetwise? Yes, yeah, it was relevant after all. I'm going to moan now. This is a plug I took off of a Rover 25 from the window regulator so I can test whether window regulators work if for some reason, you know, I have to do. One of the last things I want to take off of Project Not a Tony over here is the driver side window regulator. But I don't know if it works. It might do, but I can't remember. So the obvious thing to do will be to plug that in and connect it to a battery and see if it works. But for some bizarre reason, it's got a different plug on the end to what the old one did, which now means that I've got to ruin a perfectly good wiring loom just to test it. <laughs> You might be wondering why I've had to do that when I could just use the plug on the other end. But it's damaged, so that doesn't work. Anyway, as you can see, the regulator works. Start your day with a long oyster! Now, here's something really curious. Just floating around the yard, then I saw some old newspaper. Well, that looks like it's from many, many years back. Look, obviously uh, from one of these carpet fitters have done some sort of job. And this paper dates back to 1980. They're really cool on this side. The Renault 20 TS. I used to have one of those. And in actual fact, when I do my uh, talk about that car, I might just use that picture. Now that I've checked that window regulator works, got, oh gosh, that shelf's leaning quite a bit. I've just found the correct, the correct I've, just, I've just found the correct plug after all. Oh, strange. I'm malfunctioning. Wife, I'm malfunctioning. What can I do? What can I do? Quick, quick, eat a pasty. Oh, the cold. I hope I'm not too late. The following scene had to be deleted because it was inconsistent, but mostly rather stupid. Well, that was a close one. I've never malfunctioned as badly as that before. It's just as well I wasn't alone in the yard. Giving up pasties was something I thought I would do, which would be good for my health. But it turns out it's not good for my sanity. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. I've got another problem now. Climbing onto the back of the truck's just getting uh, too difficult. Maybe I'm just getting old, I don't know, but it just seems a bit far away. But with every problem, I always find a solution. No, no, I'm not malfunctioning again. I've got to fix my phone holder so I can film on the move again. Well, as to be expected, once taken all this apart, I found that there is something missing. Yes, tiny connecting rod that goes from this to this. That's why it's broken in the first place, because it's snapped off obviously. Unfortunately, it's nowhere to be found. I've just had a good route through the car and I didn't find it, but I did find my head torch. And I have been looking for that all day. So, the usual lesson learned here. 
If you want to find something, stop looking for it. I wonder if in a parallel universe somewhere, cows are actually pets. And they're not called cows, they're called chickens. As the universe is indeed infinite, the possibilities are equally infinite. So cows called chickens that are pets must be a reality somewhere out there. If I had a pet cow, I'd call it anchovies on toast on Tuesday at 10.25. Presumably some of these cows will actually be um, quite intelligent as well. That'd be nice. Fed up a cow has been so dim. Hello? 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 Hello, is anybody there? Hello? Hello, have you got a window regulator for a Rover 45? Fuck.